On this feast of the Most Holy Trinity, we mark ourselves in faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you always. With your spirit. As the gift of faith once again beckons us to gather with each other, we take a moment as we begin to seek the mercy of our gracious God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin. May God bring us to everlasting life. Amen. by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification. Make known to the human family your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. 
Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thank you to the God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to John. Glory 
Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. Whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, whether it be good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, it is good that we gather with each other in faith to celebrate the mysteries of God's love for us, for all humanity, and indeed for all of creation. The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, rich in kindness, rich in fidelity. These words of faith were spoken by the Jewish community hundreds of years before the coming of Jesus, and he knew them well, as they can be found in the book of Exodus. It is in this God that Jesus placed his faith and that we place ours as well. You know, the world has always been in need of communities, of people who show the very best of human thought and of human action. And those communities can be found all throughout the history of the human race. But all the more, Jesus called his followers, if they were to be anything at all, that they would be communities of love, giving the example to those around them what it means to really not only honor God, but to honor each other to proclaim the dignity and the well-being of every human being. I hope it is obvious to you and obvious to me that in these very days in which we live, in which there is not only the lingering fear of a worldwide pandemic, but also the very need for us to rediscover what it means to call each other sisters and brothers in our common humanity, that as Christians, we are called to live as loving communities. We have all the more reason to do so because this Feast of the Holy Trinity is a distinctly Christian feast. We believe that our God is a community of loving persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it is their love that empowers us to live as disciples of this Jesus in the midst of our world with all of its goodness, with all of its problems and challenges, we are called to be signs of a love far greater than our own. The Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. It gives us motivation as people baptized into Jesus to live, to respect, to honor, not only each other, but every human being who is made in the image and in the 
likeness of God. So let's listen to these words that come from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. And so let's be united in professing our faith and do so through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And so as a people baptized into Christ Jesus, it is both our honor and our responsibility to pray not only for one another, but indeed for all the human family. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the church, drawn from all nations and languages, May I try you, God, guide and sustain us as we proclaim the good news of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in civil power and authority, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in them hearts for servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those enduring trials and challenges in life, May they be uplifted by the loving presence of God and the support and compassion of the community of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in worship of the triune God, may the communion of love he outpours preserve us in faith and increase in us in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they take their place at the eternal feast in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been affected and afflicted by the coronavirus, for the first responders and the caregivers that tend to them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petitions and prayers we hold in the depths of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So merciful and gracious God, listen to our prayers and our petitions and grant them according always to your purpose, according to your will. Fill our hearts with a hunger and a thirst to live justly among all peoples. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our presentation is number 494. How to pray to God for us. Number 494. <laughs>
my sisters and my brothers that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hand for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good and good and good. And so sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they <coughs> may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his own passion, we remember that he took bread, and that giving thanks he broke it, and then gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when that supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and of the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. So gathered in faith, we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection. So we offer you, Lord, the bread that gives us life, the chalice that brings us salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence 
that we might minister to you. So humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And so, Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring the church to the fullness of your love and the depth of your charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, all of the clergy, and all who serve and who minister to your people. Remember also sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, we pray, into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and the Mother of the Church, with Joseph, her loving husband, the Apostles, with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout every age, we may merit to be co-heirs to your gift of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So before we share the gifts of this sacred table, we pray in the wisdom Jesus Christ has taught us. And we say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our brokenness and sin, but look always on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live, who reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with each of you always. And with your spirit. And let us acknowledge each other with a greeting of peace. Be strong. Be strong. Thank you, Rex. Peace. Daddy. Peace. And Cornelius.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. While those of us who are here physically present to this liturgy share Christ's presence in the Eucharist, I would invite those of you who are watching on YouTube at this time to make a spiritual communion, to invite the Lord Jesus into your hearts, into your lives, and to embrace his presence and to ask for his gracious forgiveness and strength. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring each of us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity, all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we leave today, we've tried to model this celebration of the Eucharist pretty much in the way that we will be experiencing Mass, we pray in the very near future, when we do return to worship within our church buildings. We'll probably be doing so under a 25% rule, what that means, 25% of our seating capacity. So this is the way things will look and feel and this is the way we will experience liturgy, which is essentially the same, but many of the accidents of what we do are going to be nuanced and a little bit different to preserve the safe health of all of us who gather. On our parish Facebook, 
that of Our Lady of Lourdes, and on the websites of both Our Lady of the Rosary and Our Lady of Lourdes Parish, you'll find beginning June 7th, an invitation to come to an outdoor mass on June 14th here at Our Lady of Lourdes. There's lots of guidelines to follow, and we're going to attempt to do it to the best of our ability. We're also limited there to 50% of our parking lot capacity. So there, you have to register to come to Mass, believe it or not. And we hope that many will do so, and that each week maybe there'll be a different group of parishioners who can come to Mass and if they so wish to receive communion while the rest of us will be watching still on YouTube or live streaming. All of it will become clearer and clearer as the weeks pass. There's always going to be a little bit of shift and change to things to protect our health. Hopefully, we'll support and encourage each other in love and in faith because our God, the God that we embrace, is a community of loving persons who calls us to live in their image and in their likeness. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our Master says, let us go on a peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.